Howard Stern. Audio birthday greeting. Hello, this is Julie Chen, the hot newscaster married to Les Movies. Happy birthday, Howard. <laughs> I think you are handsome for a man with long eyes. Me would be very, very horny for you. <laughs> but I marry Les Movies, and he very, very rich. I have to go. I have to use my Julie Movies credit card to buy lots and lots of Julie. Happy birthday, Harvard. All right, You're baby. so horny. Yeah, I am. And congratulations to you on marrying Les. Les Moonves. That's good for you, Julie Chen. Wow. That yeah. was nice. Huh? Very nice. I thought Very you were nice. talking to Gilbert. I thought she was mad at me because I was moving to a different type of radio. <laughs> <laughs> but no, she wishes you a happy birthday. Gilbert Gottfried's here. He looks uh, pained as usual. Oh, yes. How are you? Yeah, so so this is a day of celebrities and Gilbert Godfrey. That's true. Yeah. <laughs> well, 100 you, stars and Gilbert. Yes. <laughs> you heard James Woods giving the list of beautiful starlets he had sex with. I suppose you're here to do the same. Yeah, no, no, I usually like to hide. <laughs> By the way, everyone's saying on that new Affleck commercial yes. that you star in that you look more disturbing than ever. <laughs> <laughs> right? Didn't everyone say that? Yeah, a lot of people said, what is he... They should never have revealed who was making that sound. <laughs> then we were in here trying, before you walked in, had to figure out how much money you were worth. Yeah. Because we hear you save every penny. Yes. Someone told... This is the greatest. Al Goldstein <laughs> used to have Gilbert over to his apartment every Sunday for a brunch. For brunch, yes. right? You know, always. Free breakfast, yes. beautiful spread, right? Locks, bagels, yes. the whole thing. Herring, everything. Gilbert, of course, would take even sugar packets home. And with didn't him. you? Didn't you took the creamers and oh, everything? I took the table. <laughs> <laughs> yes. So now Al Goldstein's bankrupt, and he's homeless. And a lot of celebrities who were friends of his are giving him money to, to help him in, out. Yeah. So, so Al told me Gilbert sent him twenty bucks. <laughs> but you want to hear the sad truth? Yeah. I never sent him twenty. You did. Yeah. Somebody <laughs> sent it in your name. <laughs> You would never give him 20 bucks. A $20 contribution was made in your name. <laughs> Have you ever contributed to any charity? Honestly. Uh, let's see. Did I ever? I don't think so. Right. Tsunami yeah. Relief did not Did move Tsunami, you. Uh, when you saw the pictures on television of the, the, the people <laughs> being washed away, did that move you at all? <laughs> Does anything actually get to you? Well, I know I'm waiting. Maybe they'll do one of those telethons, and it could be me and George Clooney. On. Well, they're doing one. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I, I've got a chance in hell of getting on that one. <laughs> I love how Gilbert just wants a spot on it to get a plug. Yes. <laughs> right. But do you ever get moved by, like, is there anything that moves you? The, 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 the orphans, hurricanes in hurricanes, Florida. Anything. I mean, nothing has ever no, moved you. No, 9-11. Does your accountant ever say to you, you know, Gilbert, it's a tax deduction. You can give him some money. Does he ever say that to you in a private conversation? I guess he's given up. Right. Yes. So you never give money to Chad. Yeah. Right. Oh, I see. All right. So when you hear someone like Al Goldstein, a guy who had you over his home all the time, <laughs> you would never give him money, right? And and to make matters worse, um, Ratso I spoke to recently. Who, who told me, hey, if you want to go over, uh, Al Goldstein's inviting us for free bagels. <laughs> wow. Well, my dad is on the phone, Gilbert. He wants, <laughs> no, he is. Okay. He wants to wish okay. me a happy birthday, I imagine. Yes, Father. Well, uh, I want to wish you a happy uh-oh. Uh-oh. No, you're allowed to mention my birthday. Oh, I am. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> That's not an information. Yeah. Well, Happy birthday, Howard. Well, isn't that nice? Thank you, Dad. <laughs> and uh, I wish you many more. Thank How you. How old is your son today? He is 51. <laughs> I'm surprised and you I got that. news for you. It's not snowing. You know, he was, it was snowing when he was born. Is that right? Yeah, so it's going to be a very good year for him. There was a blizzard. A now, blizzard, right. Did you take uh, Mrs. Stern to the hospital that morning? Yeah, I certainly did. And then he went to work. <laughs> no, I didn't. I thought you left for work, you told me. No. I keep, your mother thought I left for work. I was sitting in the lobby for like 27 hours. Right. Wow. And then when I was born, my father walked in, and he opened up a window in the hospital room, and he said, did you hear what I got? He yelled it out, <laughs> he the, yelled window. It out the window. I got a, a son. Right. And that was the last time I uh, didn't disappoint him. Well, who watched <laughs> Ellen while he was at the hospital all day? My sister was uh, not watched. <laughs> they left her alone. <laughs> she was right. I could care less. <laughs> I, I, tell, I tell you one thing, that uh, the doctor didn't even know I was in the uh, uh, lobby there. They didn't call you when the baby was He born? didn't know I was there. Finally, I'm waiting and waiting. Then he came down and he said to me, uh, you know, your wife just gave birth. So I rushed upstairs. I said, let's make sure who we, what we name him. 
Yeah, because my mother wanted to name me Harvey. Right. Oh, jeez. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. That's almost worse than Gilbert. Yeah, yeah. you better be glad he rushed up those stairs. And my father put his foot down. He said they had to use an H name because they yeah. named the they named yeah. after dead people. Uh huh. So I was named after. Uh, well, it was it was uh, right. <laughs> well, anyway, I do you know who do you know who I was named after? Yes. Who? Your mother's uh, grandfather. What's his name? Hash. Yeah. Hash. Hash. Okay. Like the hash oil. Okay. <laughs> and you took the H, and they said, my well, father's... Well, it was an H, though, but your mother wanted Harvey, and I said, let's do Howard. Yeah, nice. Thank you. You mean Howard? I stuck to my, 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 my biggest decision in life. Well, you, you did the right thing by me. Oh, your you mother mean... wants to wish you something. All right. Right? <laughs> Uh, and this touching Gilbert? This is Gilbert's nightmare. Yes. This is Gilbert's worst nightmare. Gilbert's laughing at Gilbert's him. like, I don't have pears. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, I do, but I don't let him on the air. <laughs> Hello? Hello. Oh, Mother. Ah, oh, happy birthday, Hal. Well, it was many years ago. Do you remember that day? Oh, I do remember it. You don't forget those things. No, probably. she was all doped up. She didn't know where she was. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, it was a biggie, but you an were, absolute biggie. But you were knocked out for my birth, right? You didn't experience it. I experienced it, don't worry. No, you didn't. You and I'm still experiencing it. <laughs> <laughs> my mother says that she was put out. They used to knock a woman out. Yeah. You know, they, they dope them up on all kinds of drugs. And uh, I was uh, born, and she woke up, and they showed her to me. No, no, no. What do you mean, no, 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 no? What are you talking about? No, that's not true. Well, tell Did me you the have truth. the epidural? Yeah. So she's awake for no. the end. Yeah, did they just numb your lower body. She didn't Believe me, it was very, very, very good. And I think I did good. What do you think? Well, Alex? you never put me to the breast. <laughs> <laughs> True. Never had the breast. You want to do it now? Yeah, but were you breastfed? Uh, it's never too late. So. But you were not breastfed? Yeah, my mother never gave yeah. me the breast. She didn't want my dirty, filthy mouth on her. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> she knew what you'd be saying later on. My mother says her biggest disappointment is that she didn't breastfeed. Me. Really? That's right. She didn't put me up to the nips. <laughs> she didn't. And let me tell you, my mother's got a lot of food in there. You had plenty, plenty of food. My mom's a D cup. Double D, I think. Oh, that's a lot of Ma, food. Ma, are you double D or a D? So, Howard, what are you doing for your birthday? Oh, really, what are you, double D or D? <laughs> huh? Are you a D or a double D? I don't know. I think you're double D. <laughs> Imagine me on those things. Oh, Answer my. me. What are you doing for your birthday that's special? I'm going out to be with my daughters. That's it. Oh, that's lovely. That's, that's a lovely gonna, thing to do. We're going to hang out go to the deli. Go to the deli. Okay. That's it. You could get free bagels from Al Goldstein. Yeah, yeah if you go to Al Goldstein's yeah. place, I'll give you bagels. <laughs> go to that deli. Well, Mother, it was many years ago on a snowy day in January. That's right. That's right. That you and I first met. Was it an uneventful pregnancy? At Mount Sinai. You remember uh, anything about that day you want to share with my audience? Do I remember anything with that day? When's the I... first? Did you look at my penis right away? Oh, stop. <laughs> and did He's you got say, one. "Oh, I have a daughter"? <laughs> my mother even describes my penis as very small. Oh. <laughs> she does, <laughs> right, Ma? What? I was small. I don't know. I never measured you up against anyone. No, but you even you had once said on the air that when you looked at it, you were like, "Wow, it's pretty small." Uh -huh. so, could you see anything down there when you looked at me, or was it like... like <laughs> did they like, wonder if he was a boy or a girl? Listen, you fathered three daughters. I think you did pretty good. No, but let me ask you something, because I, 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 this is the truth. Did, when you looked at me naked, and I know you counted my fingers and toes, you always told you me that. You were perfect. You were absolutely perfect. But my we what went wrong? But no. my wiener schnitzel... <laughs> but my wiener schnitzel it was... It was just fine. No, but I mean, it was hardly anything there, right? It was very good. She told me it was, she thought it, you know, she it thought was ladies. She thought you had a daughter, another daughter? <laughs> I didn't daughter. call to talk about your penis. I called to wish you a happy birthday. Well, somehow things are going wrong. Well, do you remember anything about the pregnancy? Was there anything His remarkable? His were It was a very length. good pregnancy, very um, easy pregnancy. And you didn't make uh, you sick? Uh, I, I no, didn't till later. start showing until I was in my seventh month. Is that right? Yeah. Yeah, yeah my mother's got a pretty good body. You know what? what I mean? You got a pretty good body. Got the big hips, a nice breast. <laughs> she should have breastfeed me. I, I bet you I would have. They say you, you're a lot more intelligent if you Maybe get Maybe you would have turned oh, out different, Howard. Maybe yeah. I shouldn't have. Who knows? Well, Who listen, knows, Mother. Right? It's our birthday. Let's let's uh, talk about the night I was conceived. How many times did Dad <laughs> boo you?
Oh, was I he, don't talk about that. Was Do he you, planned? Yes, he was definitely planned. Ah. So did you and Dad, like, make a date and say, let's make a baby tonight? Oh, sure. You did? Absolutely. Like, did you take your temperature and do all that? No, I didn't. What's temperature have to do with it? It's a special... <laughs> Sometimes women have to know when they're ovulating or something like that, right? Yeah, but I didn't do that. Right. You were very fertile, huh? Oh, yeah, my mother. <laughs> did very good. So what did you do? Like, you just went into the bedroom and started going at it? When I, I would love to know about my conception. What did you do when you made a baby? What position were you in when I was conceived? <laughs> what what you did know? you do when you made a baby? You want to know? Yeah. Mostly uh, doggy because... Uh, <laughs> you were what? A lot of times, uh, that, that's what they, they say, that's what you're supposed to do. To, really? To tip the uterus. It's a whole thing. It's a whole thing. <laughs> what did you do? What position was I conceived in my... I got to know. I don't want you to, like, leave me one day and never have told me. <laughs> I really want to know. Well, you know, Howard, I have something in the vault that's pictures of when I conceived you. Oh, and when I die, you'll you. see those pictures. You were missionary, I bet. <laughs> yeah. I can't picture my mom in anything but missionary. Really? I swear to you God, I can't. You never thought she got wild and what? got no. on top or Did you, you ever try anything but missionary? Did I ever try anything but missionary? I don't recall. I wonder. I don't, I don't can't imagine my 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 beautiful mother, my sweet mother. Yes, your wonderful bent mother. over a desk. <laughs> I can't imagine. So are we going to talk about the birthday or aren't we? This is what we're talking about. We're talking about my conception, for Christ's sake. This is beautiful. This is important to me. We're talking about nine months before. I can't talk to you about this in private. I'm not going to ask you. I mean, I mean, the dad said, "All right, no rubbers tonight." Right? <laughs> Right? I mean, and it was a big night. and was it Big romantic? night was and it, a big day. And it, I want you to have the happiest birthday. I wish you from the bottom of my heart. Was it I romantic when I was, was it romantic when I was conceived? Yeah, did you have a nice dinner before or what? No, I don't recall. Dinner. There'll be no <laughs> there dinner. dinner or, <laughs> sure, we had dinner. How many times did you try for me? Was I a quick conception or did you have to try several months? Howard, ah, are we that's... talking about the birthday or not? Isn't that the birthday, the, con the conception of my birth? No, no. It's really? not the birthday. The I mean, birthday. Did you put on a special outfit for my conception? <laughs> Are you? <laughs> All right, Hal. I love you, Mother. I want to say something about my mother. I love you. You're Aww. a wonderful woman. You gave birth to me. You gave me life. And what a life. And what a life. <laughs> You're not doing bad, Hal. I'm not doing bad, and you are a joy... And I couldn't be prouder of you being my mommy. All right. And I feel the same way about you. Absolutely. And have a wonderful, wonderful day. And I'll talk to you soon. Thank you, Mom. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Well, we didn't learn much in that call. <laughs> you can't get much out of her. No. I really, well, you know what? This sounds bizarre. And I don't think I've ever thought of this before until this moment. I would like to know how I was conceived. Like, was it, like, was it, a, a, was it difficult, my conception? I mean, when did they sit down and say, all right, we want to have another child? All right, Ray, I'm home from work <laughs> to have a baby. <laughs> oh, you're going to make me pregnant? Ben, tonight's the night. Let me go light the love candle. <laughs> you do paint a romantic picture. <laughs> <laughs> did you put on the candle? <laughs> yes, Ben. <laughs> Good, I will do you now. <laughs> Doggy. <laughs> Doggy. Tip the uterus. <laughs> Oh, man. I imagine her in a basket lowered from the ceiling. <laughs> <laughs> I am ready for you now. <laughs> Talk dirty. <laughs> Make real dirty words. <laughs> sounds like your mother married Bella Lugosi. Yeah. Yeah. Make dirty words. <laughs> he must conceive a baby. <laughs> All right, Ben. A and devil child. over. <laughs> Bend over now. Insertion will get started. <laughs> Let's make how it's done. Let's make a baby called how it's done. Let's make Satan. I am ready to blast off. <laughs> oh, there a lot of dirty talk. Oh when yes. You were conceived. Yes. <laughs> Let me smack you in the back of the head, you bitch. <laughs> you think that's how it went? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I will pull on your hair. I will cause you pain, you you bitch. <laughs> You birthless mocky bitch. <laughs> wow, you think wow. it was an angry kind of... Yeah. <laughs> was she married to someone in the SS? <laughs> yeah. My old man's pretty wicked. 
All right. I don't think right. anybody heard that. We gotta wait till All right, I Dad. <laughs> All right, let me play a very sweet announcement, Gilbert, if you can yeah. open up your heart. <laughs> yeah, now it's time for a sweet announcement. Wait, first of all, here's a hot chick who wants to wish me a happy birthday. Uh, yeah. Okay. Kira Sedgwick, who is oh. Kevin Bacon's wife. Happy birthday. How are you, baby? I'm fine. How are you? I am so good. And by the way, this woman right here is in a movie called The Woodsman that is so good. Is it in the theaters? Oh, yeah. It is so good. Oh, it's yeah. about and Gilbert, you got to see this. It's, it's about, about you. It's no. about a pedophile. <laughs> <laughs> it's about a pedophile who steals creamers, who, <laughs> who gets out of jail, who gets out of jail, <laughs> and he he mo he gets an apartment right across the street from a school, oh. like a sixth grade school. You know what I mean? So it's got a happy ending. Uh -huh. <laughs> yes. And I got to tell you what, Kira. Is really good in it, and at once you see boobies and little thong panties, oh. and she's sitting in Kevin's lap. You, you see her cans and out. Was that? Did you? That's your body, right, Kira? Oh yeah. That's no body double. Oh no, no body she's double. Got great you breasts. are as cute as can be. I think my girlfriend yeah. was watching with me. She goes, "Man, you know, Kira's really cute. She's got such a great body." And I go, "Would you do her?" Because maybe I could arrange that. <laughs> Maybe you, Carol goes. Do you for see that. any of that Kevin little kids talking naked. about that? You've been thinking about that. Well, Kevin keeps talking oh. about you know my my uh, dormant um, lesbian tendencies, and you know I, he he keeps wishing I have them. But you know I, I could you know I don't know. Beth looked pretty good the other night. I don't know. I'll, yeah, I'll, I, I could arrange it. I'll consider it. You know. Hey, Kira. Yeah. Are those breasts real? Yes. They My are. God, you've got some rat. <laughs> no, she does. Gilbert, I'm telling you. <laughs> now yeah. I'll have to see the movie. Now you have to go see the yeah. movie. Damn. I mean, well, you got to. You're gonna have to spend some money. Yes. <laughs> hey, did you, hey, do you let your uh, kids see that movie? No, of course not. Yeah, I man. mean, the movie. I, it's important to say that nothing bad happens to children in the movie, and it's really about a. It's really about a sick guy who's struggling to get well, and it's. It's you know it's, good. It, it's a beautiful movie. It's fabulous. Movie. I just want to make sure we get that out there. No, it's fabulous. No, he's been raving about I'm it. I'm raving about it. That's I'm nice. A, I'm a one man promotion team for this movie. Oh, thank the you. The Woodsman. But I wanted to wish you a happy birthday. What are you wearing right now? <laughs> <laughs> I'm wearing a a blue a brown satin top. It's it's not it's it's borderline sexy. She's got a beautiful body, this girl. I'm in Philadelphia doing more press. She works exactly. out like a maniac. Not not anymore, not anymore. No? No, I gave that up. One time she was working out over, uh, I think I read in the paper, in the Reebok, ran out naked. Oh, that's right, she got locked, locked out. Locked out of the Reebok <laughs> naked. Standing in the street naked. Oh, yeah. a very tell, small towel. Tell us slowly. <laughs> hey, Kira, yeah. anyway, congratulations on the movie, and thank thanks. you for wishing me a happy birthday. Thank you. Have a good day. You're a real babe. All right, thanks. That's right. Take care. Mm, that's right. <laughs> All right, bye. <laughs> bye. Hey, look at this. Everyone calling in. Hi, hey, hey, uh, Kara, it's Gilbert Godfrey here. <laughs> <laughs> she don't want you. Yes. <laughs> How come I'm never walking down the street and seeing naked Kara Cedric? I just see Gilbert. When I... <laughs> <laughs> walking naked. Yeah. That's, that's picking your up luck. a container. By the way, my mom did tell me my wiener was small. <laughs> well, I remember, I remember that. Yeah, right? it was yeah. on the air. Yeah. <laughs> Actually, what a, what a traumatic thing, if you think about it. Why well, is that a clitoris? A oh. <laughs> you were a baby. All right, let's listen to my girlfriend. Yes. She left me a beautiful message. I know this is going to be embarrassing. Why? Because she loves me and I get you embarrassed. You get all goofy and wimpy. Yeah. Here we go. You ready? Yes. Hi, sweet love. It's mm. your Shvia Dow. I know in Chauncey's interview, the first word that came to describe you was honest, but I want to tell you the other words that I use every day to describe you. Hot, super sexy. Super big. Kind, <laughs> generous, sweet, incredibly smart, talented. See, now I'm embarrassed. Why? Keep going. Because this is all true. And Think, I about how I, yeah, right. <laughs> Think about how I feel as a fan of yours. Yeah. Funny, supportive, passionate, gentle, caring, and most... I'm not gentle and caring, by the way. <laughs> I don't what? want people thinking that. Could she leave a message like that on my machine? <laughs> Importantly, Cheap. an agreement yeah. with Angie Everhart. Amazing in bed. Oh, see? Wow. Did you Wait hear a that? minute. See, you keep cutting it off and everybody's talking. I didn't hear it. I agree with Angie Everhart. You're amazing in bed. <laughs> what are you laughing yeah. at? 
<laughs> yes. He no, no, I agree. Agrees. You are good he to pay. <laughs> you are my angel of life, and oh. although we're 19 years apart, you can see. <laughs> ah! That killed That's it. That's a good thing. That killed it. Yeah. <laughs> You can believe that if you want. And although you're 83 years young, <laughs> that's a good thing. You need to make my life so incredibly blissful. These have been the best four and a half years of my life. Happy birthday, my sweet, sweet love. Wow. <laughs> I don't hear any girls leaving you a message yeah. like that. <laughs> I just want to say that Gilbert's not generous. Yes. <laughs> He's very thoughtless. He's very bad in bed. And horrible in bed, but I'm with... Could we go out to dinner at least once? That's the message, yeah, right. Gilbert. <laughs> All right, Gilbert. Your messages have never been that nice. Yes. <laughs> See Gilbert Gottfried tomorrow night at Caroline's in Manhattan. Yes. Uh, Great club. Very rarely does Gilbert uh, get out of the apartment, so yes, this is this nice. This is a rare appearance. And tickets called 212-757-4100, and uh, Gilbert included in his uh, night of comedy will be, uh, he'll be doing a pressure of my parents conceiving me. <laughs> yeah, that's a good one. <laughs> Including Jew bitch comments. Right, the Nazi right. stuff. Yeah. You mocky bitch. See, yeah, mocky bitch. <laughs> his best starring impression. <laughs> uh, see Gilbert in Aladdin, available now on DVD, uh... What? Yeah, I heard you don't get any residual. I don't get anything from Why are you promoting? Why are you promoting? I don't know. Okay, okay, that could be our last promotion for the day. Yeah, what are you doing? Yeah. Aladdin, they don't pay you. Yeah. And and you know something? Robin Williams, I don't think... Uh, he, won't, he won't promote it. Yeah, yeah. He Why? Didn't, he didn't leave his house. Because he feels he's not getting enough money. I guess so. Yeah. 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 No, I think morally, I think he had problems. Yeah, yeah. I mean, the movie is <laughs> yeah. about a pedophile, isn't it? Yeah, yes. <laughs> <laughs> All right, oh, we got to oh. take a break. Oh, I'm a pedophile. Oh, oh I'm a pedophile. Look. Oh. <laughs> oh, hey, little boy, come here. Oh. <laughs> Anybody want to go into the commercial with Reverend Bob Levy roasting me for my yes, birthday? Yes, Oh, let's okay. Do that. Uh, I know Gilbert probably prepared a roast. Yes. For, uh, to, uh, <laughs> Gilbert never prepares. Here we go. Happy birthday, Howard. Jesus Christ, you're f***ing old. 51. How does it feel to sneeze and f*** yourself, you old bastard? I wonder what's sagging more, the ratings in Syracuse or your f***ing balls. If you ever do another movie, you're going to need two SAG cards. One for you and one for your f***ing sack. Damn, 51 and you're f***ing a model half your age. After you f***ing, do you have to burp her, you sick bastard? <laughs> Howard, I'd like to be serious for a second. Wait a minute, I can't say serious on your station. If I say serious, they're going to charge me for commercials. Jesus Christ. Happy birthday, you old prick. Nice. Thank you, Bob. All right, we'll be back right after this with Gilbert Gottfried, the news, and everything else that we do. And now, Howard Stern, audio birthday greeting. Hi, this is James Brown, and I'd like to say happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Howard. Happy, Happy birthday, birthday to you. you. That was Thomas. She was out of tune, not me. <laughs> and now, a Howard Stern audio birthday greeting. Hello, Stern. This is Eric the Midget. I know over the years you've made fun of my fantasy girl, Kelly Clarkson. You've called me an evil midget, and you repeatedly put down American Idol. But today, for now, I'll let all that slide. Have a happy birthday, Stern, until we meet again. Bye for now. Wow. Hey, Eric the Midget. Your nemesis. I, I will bring you a brain for the creature. <laughs> <laughs> Come here, my little midget. We yes. will create the creature. You will fix me and make me look human. <laughs> but you must go out and find a body. I will kill them for you. <laughs> Don't worry, I'll make you beautiful. I... You are spending too much time on Lawrence Talbot. <laughs> and not enough time on me. Get away from me, you filthy midget. <laughs> I lied to you. I was never going to fix you in the first place. I will. I've done everything for you, master. <laughs> I have killed for you. Stop going to the bathroom on my foot. <laughs> <laughs> You filthy yeah, mongrel. Wasn't that body supposed to be yours? I am robbed graves for you, master. <laughs> Gilbert Gottfried tomorrow night at Caroline's in Manhattan. For tickets, call 212 757 4100. See Gilbert in Aladdin. Available now on DVD, even though he doesn't get residuals. Yes. And uh, Robin Williams has nothing to do with it. Oh, oh, I wouldn't do anything for it. Oh, oh. <laughs>
<laughs> Gilbert and Robin Williams getting close. <laughs> well, they're on the same page on this one. I yes. said to Gilbert, before you became a comedian, what did you do? I mean, did you ever have a real job? Did you? Yeah, were you a teacher, an accountant? What were you? He says he had some jobs, but he was just about to tell me. what. Fred yelled out, 45 seconds, and you said, what were your jobs? And in that 45 seconds, he goes... Well, I uh, I did some things, and then you and then you go. Well, what'd you do? Weird stuff. Sounds yeah. It but sounds... what'd you do? Yeah, odd things. Like did what you... kind of things would you do? I did things. <laughs> did you? I, I did, did things. things. Is this another thing like your yes. age that you don't talk about? Yes, I did things, bad things, <laughs> horrible things. You will get me, Kelly Clarkson. Well, the jobs give away his age. I think he worked on a trolley car in Brooklyn. <laughs> <laughs> I put up the first subway track. <laughs> he, got, he worked he got, with a bunch of Chinese guys building the, the I railroad track. worked in the, the Nickelodeon. <laughs> he got the bends from a caisson in the Brooklyn Bridge. But <laughs> <laughs> so really, did you ever like? Like, I was a, I was, I worked in a kitchen, and I, uh, I did some sales. I, 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 I worked as a media planner. I was a babysitter for Charles Lindbergh. <laughs> yes. You fought in World War I. Yes. All right. I can see we're not going to get a serious answer. You won't tell us about any odd job you had. <laughs> oh, you know it was odd. If oh, yeah. Right. What were you, digging graves? What Did you ever you do doing? anything normal? I mean, were you good at anything? No. Did you have any skills? No. Oh, no. <laughs> Did you ever work, at, like, in an office? What? Uh, yeah. I, I remember one time I worked handing out these, like, supermarket circulars in these projects in Harlem. Oh, you oh. had, like, homeless people jobs. <laughs> oh, man. Well, you really had nothing going that on. That was a fun job. Hey, let me have oh, a yeah. circular. Did you, did you ever have, wear uh, a sandwich board? <laughs> It must that have would have been a step up. It must have been easy for you to meet girls with the way you look oh, and, yes. and uh, for that kind of job. So were you still a virgin then? <laughs> oh, I think it's safe to say yes. Oh, I'm so sorry. I'm sorry. I really am. I didn't mean to bring it up. Yes, I'm Obviously, sorry. it's painful. When was when did he lose his virginity? I was just thinking the same thing. Oh, please. The late 1880s. Yeah, you'll get that answer. Yes. <laughs> yeah. Now, he became a comic, and then girls started to look at him, right? Yes. Yeah. Not immediately. <laughs> but, you know... <laughs> Why else get into this business? No, but were you in your, were you in your like, mi older than your middle 20s when you lost it? I was in my 30s. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> See, he isn't kidding. I, I don't think he is. <laughs> <laughs> Gilbert always struck me as one of those guys who, like, wouldn't even want to be near a girl. Like, like I don't want anyone touching me. Yes. You know? Like a Richard Christie kind of guy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll just be home with my porn. <laughs> All right. Anyway, Gilbert, we love having you here. Thank you for showing up on my birthday. I purposely uh, showed up because I know it was you. I know. I know you did. What is it, Baba Booey? You want to talk about somebody that wanted to call in this morning or come in but couldn't make it, and that's uh, Kelly Ripper. She's a big fan. We really? Her. Yeah. But you know what it, the she, real Kelly The Ripper. real Kelly Ripper. The real woman, yes. But no. what happens is, you know, she gets up at the crack of dawn. she got to get the kids off to school. Then she's right over to the show, mm. and then they're doing the show. But she did uh, uh, want to extend an offer to you. Which is? Um, her and her husband are taking a private plane down to the Trump wedding. And if you're going, they would like to invite you and Beth to jump on. Let me tell you something. I would go with them, which would be great. But uh, it's the weekend of my daughter's birthday. Oh. Okay, because it's a Trump call. They need to know if you're coming to the wedding. I know. I, you know can you? Uh, I want to send them a note. Okay. But I really can't go. I mean, for real. I'm, I would love to have gone. See, I wonder, you know, uh, you said it yesterday you had something to do. I wondered if it was something that was It's my daughter's movable, birthday, so. and I can't, there's no way I am, um, you know. I'm like, Daddy's not here because he's at the Trump wedding. Right, that doesn't play. I would love to have gone down there with them. Take your daughter, would have been great. Take your daughter to the Trump wedding. I could have thrown uh, her husband, Mark Consuelos, out the window. No, and that's I'm right. Sucked yes. out. Something <laughs> terrible happened. Mark Consuelos yeah, yeah. fell out of a plane. Hey, a two-hour <laughs> flight with Kelly Ripper in a hot outfit. I'll, does she have the kids with her, or is she going solo? I, I'm I, sure they're just going together. Yeah. They're not taking the kids to the wedding, are tell, they? Tell your daughter, but honey, it's with Kelly Ripper. I like to yeah. look at her for two yeah. hours. God damn, I would have loved that. I'd, I'd like to be on a plane, but I, I'd like to be with you, honey, but yeah. I'm on a plane with Kelly Ripper. Uh, now, do you th <laughs> let me ask you a question. Do you think Kelly and her husband can actually afford a private plane, or do you think the show's sending her down because they're covering it? I don't know. It? That's what I thought. I thought, you know, they're ponying it up because they Hold want it. her to talk about it on the air. Right. She's got a sitcom. She's got the show. But why would she show. her own cash on that? She could lease one, right? I mean, she could at yeah, least lease one for a trip. I don't know, but I'll tell you, what kind of jet is she taking? I didn't get the particulars on it. She flying a Gulfstream? I don't know. Or she Well, got, if it's the right plane, will you go? She got a citation? <laughs> What's she in? What kind of what kind of plane she? I, I would go if at my daughter's birthday. I got okay. It. Okay. What, what day is a wedding? It's a Saturday. Uh, yeah, but that I, I have my whole weekend with my daughter. I can't do it. I can't do that. 
There's no way I change that. You know, I take care of my kids. You'll call in with a voiceover to the. Weekend. I would love to go. Yeah. First of all, I like a weekend, a weekend in some nice sure, warm in weather. Sure, in the sun in uh, West Palm, or and a free ride on Kelly Ripa's jet, and more Consuelos. Right. I gotta check my machine. I'm sure they're inviting me to. <laughs> <laughs> you didn't get that call? Yeah, damn that answering machine. Figures <laughs> the one weekend I got something going on. Yeah. But uh, Trump. Because just... she made that invitation. Hey, she'd like you to come with her. Maybe I'll oh, bring my daughter. Such a great story. Yeah, bring your kid to the Trump one. That's a good gift. It sort of ruins... It ruins me being with, on a plane exactly. with Kelly Ripa. Right. You can't really do anything with your daughter around. No. I can't accidentally can't have throw, her sit on my hand. Right. You can't throw the guy out of the plane with your daughter. There. Yeah. <laughs> what exactly would have happened anyway? Howard what would have happened? Yeah. Howard would have put on his sunglasses <laughs> and pretend not to be looking at her. Yeah. yeah. I wonder what she's going to wear on the plane. Probably dressed down. <laughs> yeah, but you know, I mean, you could have stayed in the same place. You know she would get some sun. And go out to the pool in her bikini. Yeah. I'd love to see her in a bikini, man. A tight little body. Mm -hmm. I'd, I'd love to see Regis in a bikini. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> You're weird. Yeah. Gilbert, it's terrible. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you want to do some news? Sure. Yeah, you, you chocolate beauty. You really like my view. <laughs> yeah, you got a good voice? Yes. You ought to do more singing. Is that Ruth Buzzy? Yes. <laughs> What's uh, in the news, Robin? Well, remember a couple of months ago I told you a Ku Klux Klan organization was trying to do one of those, you know how you're driving along the highway and you see um, highway cleaning provided by? Yeah. Or these rows were cleaned by. Right. And they wanted, you know, to donate some money and get one of those signs on a roadway in St. Louis. But uh, I think the courts or whoever were rejecting them. But uh, they took it to court. And uh, the Supreme Court has rejected the ban by Washington County that the KKK cannot belong to the Adopt-A-Highway program. So pretty soon you might see a sign on the roadways in Missouri that says, you know, these clean roads brought to you by the Ku Klux Klan. <laughs> That's got to be crazy, right? <laughs> That's nuts. Hey, is American Idol back on the air? Not yet. It's about uh, to debut. I was, I was going to kill myself. I thought I'd missed it. No, no, you <laughs> haven't missed anything yet. <laughs> Wow, that's amazing, Ku Klux Klan. Huh? <laughs> yeah, they did drop another KKK. This, this highway is nigger free. <laughs> <laughs> that's what they're cleaning up, I'm afraid. You won't find one coon on this highway, at least not one that's moving. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean, I mean, it's got to make black people and, and you know Jews, everyone yes. feel real bad when they drive on that highway. We, we'll throw niggers and Jews on the highway <laughs> for you. <laughs> Every dollar that's donated, we'll throw a nigger and Jew. There's no speeding on this highway because of all the speed bumps. Mm. You'll find drag a nigger on the back bumper of our car. and You'll find tar, but no tar babies. Yeah. <laughs> well, they did drop another KKK group from the program for failing to pick up trash along the stretch of roadway they had adopted. Well, that nigger was pretty heavy. We couldn't pick him up. <laughs> I put my back trying to pick a fat nigger like that up. <laughs> wow, that, that, that nigger, it was, it was fatter than that Star Jones. I'll tell you something. <laughs> So you think? So, so uh, they didn't clean him up because they couldn't lift him. Yeah. I would imagine it would be upsetting to any uh, ethnic group or, or minority or Jew to hear that the Ku Klux Klan was cleaning up the uh, yeah, cleaning up and the getting a sign on the road. You won't find one nigger in this stretch of land. We've cleaned it up. <laughs> well, I'm afraid that's the that, that's what people will think. Yeah, See, that sign afraid. says "Coon Free." Right. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> You'd be afraid to take that road. You would have made a great Klansman. Unfortunately, you're a tiny Jew. <laughs> but he's got the lingo down. Yeah, yeah. something tells me you've been in the Klan. <laughs> here's our new, here's Grand Dragon Gottfried. <laughs> Michel <laughs> The damn Jew fooled us again. <laughs> damn that he's a Jew. Oh, the moment he said the blessing, we figured it out. Yeah. Damn it.
damn it, I had them fooled for a while. <laughs> Apparently, even Jews can look like regular people. <laughs> Satan worshippers are protected by hate crime laws. <laughs> this happened here in New York. Two men in Queens are accused of beating... I will worship Satan for you, master. <laughs> They're accused of beating Daniel Romano of Middle Village with a pipe and a Mental ice Village. scraper. <laughs> They allegedly yelled, Yo, Satan, just before they attacked him. Romano wears an inverted crucifix and claims to belong to a group called the Church of Satan, although a leader of the group says Romano is lying. Romano alleges the attackers to uh, 18 or an 18 year old, 15 year old, uh, who could face up to 15 years in prison, just uh, jumped him and assaulted him. But the defense attorneys told the New York Daily News that the case is an abuse of the hate crimes laws. But, uh, yeah, I did. the guy says he's not a devil worshiper. He's a Satanist. And I don't know what the distinction is there. Gilbert, you know that. Yes. No, all right. <laughs> Double A wants to present me with a birthday gift. Oh, yeah. that's right. I saw I'm not into it, but uh, uh, the guy's been sitting here all morning. I hope it's one of those nice belts he wears. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Quickly, double A, because really, I don't. I, I, there's, it's not you necessary. Have. Yeah, you shouldn't have. I scraped off some of my melanoma from a tanning salon. <laughs> hey, how, how's it going? What's hey, going hey, on? double A, thank you for the gift. What do you got there for me? Tell Wait, me what we it gotta is. get to Miami, Joe. <laughs> I got a few. Of your Come on, <laughs> I, I I can't walk, Joe. We gotta just get to me, my to Miami. <laughs> What do you have there for me? I got a few of your favorite things. I got you a uh, big Come on, job, you can't uh, be a later stud candies. in New York. That's I bad stuff. I got you a uh, big bottle of Kettle One vodka. <laughs> Come on, Ratso. Come on, my, you nice... my leg don't work. <laughs> Come on, Joe. Joe, you got to get me on Miami. That's all I need. Just get me on the bus to Miami. I, I don't need you anymore. <laughs> I'll be a manager. You know what Gilbert's doing? He's saying you sound a lot like the character. Ratso. Ratso. Really? Did you Ratso. know that's what he was doing? No, I didn't. Yeah. No. no, I was doing Tom Cruise. <laughs> Gilbert does yes. references yes. from 40 years ago. <laughs> Hasn't watched the movie since. Locks himself up in that apartment. Well, those are the only ones that come on free TV. <laughs> right. Go ahead, Gilbert. We didn't mean to interrupt. Yes, okay. Yeah. Yes. Hey, tell me quickly what you brought. Right. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, <laughs> What is that? Now and laters. Now and laters. How nice. Do you Your like favorite this? Candy. My favorite candy, yes. I got you a big bottle of the Kettle One uh, vodka that you drink. Thank you. That's nice of you. Why I, are you I, doing I that? I got you your vodka. You're my favorite person in the whole wide world. In the like whole world. There's nobody else I like. And what more. else? I bought, uh, <laughs> now Gilbert's like... doing the graduate. <laughs> What is that? What is that? That looks like something you throw Mixed right in the garbage. Little no, big man. It's, it's really, what is that? <laughs> I can't hear him. Oh, double A, I can never hear him. Gilbert's drowning him out, as usual. It's, it's, it's a clock over here and says Howard Stern. I over here on the bottom it says King of All Media. And there's, and there's a nice picture of you and Beth o over oh, here. Oh, nice. Thank you. Oh, okay. that is nice of you. Yeah. Thank you. A nice tacky clock. Nice. Thank you. A <laughs> clock I'd never buy for myself. Thank you for all the entertainment of all these years. I appreciate it all. You have great taste in clocks. <laughs> thank you. Really. <laughs> never Happy seen birthday, Howard. Thank you, 39 Double years old, right? Hey, thanks, Double yeah. A. Double A's the man. I love That's this That's very kid. sweet, Double he's a. A good, he's a good guy. Thank you, Double A. How nice is that? That is nice. Hey, very, very thoughtful. Hey, hey, here's your presents. Thanks, just, Double A. Just, just, just <laughs> thank your presents. <laughs> <laughs> he's a nice guy. Yes. Yeah. I what? got I got trapped in the men's room at the uh, Leno show. With yeah, no, I just got. Uh, they have a sliding door in the men's in the men's room in the dressing room, and I <laughs> smashed through the door to the <laughs> trash can. I know what you're talking about because I've been in those dressing rooms. Yeah, there's a there's a, a bathroom in the yeah, in your dressing and room? it's a sliding door. The sliding door got jammed. There was just a little space. I was trying to reach for the phone to call out, and yeah. I couldn't reach the phone. And then finally, I picked up a trash can and started banging it into the door. Finally, I smashed the hole big enough to crawl through. Ugh. You're kidding yeah. me. How yeah. long were you in there? I don't know. I was in there for a while. Were they calling for you on the show? Yeah. <laughs> he's, a, no one... he's a very funny man. <laughs> Please welcome. And nobody checked? I was pounding on the door like crazy. Nobody checked. And I, thank God it was a metal trash can. So I was like pounding the door. 
Finally, I made a big crack in it, and then I could see through to the other side. So that <laughs> encouraged me. So I smashed a hole through the entire door. Wow, well, I don't blame yeah. you. I mean, it's scary. I can't imagine you have the strength to smash yeah. through anything. But uh, there you go. He's showing off. Stronger yes. than he looks. I'm going to kick your ass. Yeah. <laughs> All right, Robin, what else is in the news? Gilbert's rambling about some <laughs> <laughs> yeah, did you know? Right. Uh, the tsunami uh, situation. Um, of course, Indonesia is one of the uh, most heavily populated Muslim countries in the world, and there was really no signs of any other religion uh, before the tsunami. But now that, you know, the Those disaster... people that went to the tsunami should get that supplemental insurance. <laughs> oh, <God. laughs> yeah. But anyway... Way to work um, it in. Yeah. <laughs> Since the, you know, the relief effort has started, there are a number of different religions now represented on the ground in the country. At least 60 different international groups have set up shop there in a little over two weeks. So it seems that if you have a disaster, these religious groups just rush right in to try to convert your population. But, but, but I go to Indochina for my girlfriends. Is it like, you know, you that's, must be that's angry? crazy, a tsunami. You must be angry at your own God, that, so we'll that, come That's in. where I go dating. <laughs> <laughs> Members of the Church of Scientology are there trying to apply their mind over matter healing Damn techniques. that John Travolta. <laughs> He'll steal women from me. <laughs> and then there are evangelical Christians, Mormons. But, wait, did they, did they kill any three-year-old Asian girls? <laughs> <laughs> this would really slow down my social life. <laughs> Jews and Quakers. <laughs> So Jews going down, every religious group is there. <laughs> and of course, radical Islamic groups are also making their presence known, providing what they're calling spiritual guidance. Well, a lot of guys do go down, as you as you point out, Gilbert, uh, with your, your sense of humor. But you, <laughs> a lot of guys go down there, and for a couple of bucks, they can have sex with whoever they want, right? It's a whole weekend. Uh, it's like a sexual vacation. I'll bet you it's probably a lot cheaper now. Yeah. 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 After the you tsunami. mean the prices yeah. dropped? Yeah. Because yeah. <laughs> it used to be like $30 for a week, you have all the women you want. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> You wonder, like, if any of those guys were down there on those junkets, and he's got, he just paid his thirty bucks, and he's got two, you know, Thailand young boys, young or boys, or something. <laughs> and all of a sudden, a wave's washing away. And he goes, "Oh my God, there is a God, and he's punishing me." Yeah, yeah, that was his last thought. <laughs> oh no, this is crazy. <laughs> <laughs> Being in a tidal wave. I'm in a tidal wave. But you wave. were two young boys. Yes. <laughs> what did you expect? <laughs> All right, we have to take a break, I yeah. understand. Tonight on E, the Tough Enough Contest with High Pitch Eric. Can a hot chick last four days shackled to this monster, High Pitch Eric? <laughs> the answer is no. Yeah, I think we all know the answer to that. <laughs> See yes, why. the entire experience. <laughs> Tonight on E, we'll be back with Gilbert Gottfried, who will be at Caroline's in Manhattan tomorrow night. 212-757-4100 for tickets. <laughs> Gilbert's also in Aladdin, available on DVD. We'll be back right after these words. And now, a Howard Stern audio birthday greeting. Hi, I'm Jimmy Kimmel. Hi, Howard. It's Nikki Zeering. This is Lawrence Taylor. Hey, what's up? This is Nick Lachey and Howard. Howard Stern. I remember when I started listening to Howard Stern. I want to wish Howard Stern a very, very a happy birthday. 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 And now, Howard Stern, audio birthday greeting. Hi, Howard. This is Scott Peterson, the convicted wife and child killer. Hey, buddy. Happy birthday. I just wanted you to know that I'm a big fan. I also want to congratulate you because this year you are going to uh -uh radio. Hey, Scott. Is that the same Scott Peterson who killed his wife and child? Yes, that's the Scott. <laughs> Thank you. Wow, what a get. <laughs> well, he is in the news. He is a big deal. He's a star. Gilbert Godfrey with us tomorrow night at Caroline's in Manhattan. Make sure to call for reservation, 212-757-4100. Our word is that the tickets are going very fast. <laughs> <laughs> Robin, what uh, what else is in the news? We have to wrap is this up. Is there anything new in the tsunami? <laughs> yes, actually. Yes. The model who was caught in the tsunami. How old is she? <laughs> remember She's the model who 25. got... 25. Remember the model who got, like, shot on the subway? I don't think she worked it into anything. 
No, she had a chance, too. Everybody was offering her stuff, and she but got lots of press. This one, I think, in the tsunami, as George Takei said. Yeah, she, could at least, she could at least do the Hollywood squares, like, like a model in the tsunami. <laughs> I think this this model is going to make it into something. But I think she's, you know, she's having one of those Gilbert moments where she thinks she ought to reevaluate her whole life. Remember yeah. when Gilbert but, was But saying? she's about five years old. I don't want her. Yeah, yeah Gilbert uh, had a burst appendix and, and uh, he turned to me in the hospital and went, um, I think I'm... I'm Ready to make a change in my life. Uh, what am I I'm gonna doing? Take over <laughs> for <laughs> yeah, it was really disturbing. Mother Superior. <laughs> and then he started feeling better in about a month and he was back on the comedy. Right. I'm, yes. I'm just wondering if that's gonna happen to her because right now she's still sick and in the hospital and you know, she has to go through a long recovery, but she wants to start right away once she gets better, raising funds to take care of the children who were affected by the tsunami. And returning to the were, area. Were, were any of these children young Asian girls? <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure we lost a lot of young Asian girls. Damn. Was there a time after your appendix burst that you did some charity work or gave to a charity and thanks for the fact that you lived and... Uh, no, no, but I did go, ah, that's too bad. What's going on there? <laughs> that's my way of contributing. You're not helping with the tsunami. Yeah, with the tsunami, I go, ah, tsunami. that's a bad thing. A man survived 15 days adrift on a boat. He got blown off of... Uh... He got blown? <laughs> <No>. <laughs> off of what? Yes. Off of what island? <laughs> Where did he get blown off? He got blown, he got out blown off the Sunset Boulevard. <laughs> was and, he Chinese? And drifted in the <laughs> Indian Ocean. He was ocean. blown off. <laughs> Eating rotten she coconut. The, one week I don't go out there. <laughs> Someone else gets blown off. All the money I spent there. What do you do? You go over there and you <laughs> meet young Asian girls? Yes, I own an Asian girl for about 35 cents a month. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my goodness. Pennies a day. <laughs> So anyway, yeah, he he lasted out there for fifty. days. How long days. did he last while they blew him off? <laughs> How many times a year do you visit the uh, that region? Well, you know, you gotta you gotta watch your finances. <laughs> so now it's like a dime a month. <laughs> <laughs> so so anyway, I have a plane to catch. <laughs> he finally did flag down a ship, and he was saved. Fifteen days out at sea. Wow. Meanwhile, in California, they're having their own. Problems with all of the rain and mudslides. Are they dead Chinese girls there? <laughs> I haven't checked yet. But they do say that the death toll is now up to 10. Oh, is that their age? <laughs> no. And it's a terrible thing. These A these... number of people are still missing, and they're digging through the rubble carefully because oh, there are They should spaces. have that supplemental insurance. <laughs> Don't you think, Gilbert, There are though, spaces large enough that people could be in, so there <laughs> may be survivors. You know, you're making jokes about a terrible <laughs> tragedy. You are, but... The, the, the you're horrible, that, as a matter of fact. People shouldn't live in that area. <laughs> I'm serious. They don't want to be a tragedy. Well, it's a very dangerous area to live in. Listen to this. <laughs> this woman, Brandy Rigsby, she lost her home in the mudslide, but she, <laughs> she would like to rebuild in the her mudslide. home in her hometown, but it may be impossible. So if she can, she will go right back there. C3. Are All there right. any girls that are named Wing Chow? <laughs> I do want to rebuild. I, I'm not sure how that's going to happen. I'm that's crazy. Here's but Linda that's Dummy. Crazy. <laughs> Linda <laughs> Dummy. Stop that. No, you don't you don't don't rebuild in that area. You can't stop these people. They love those houses on the side of the cliffs. <laughs> I guess Woody Allen's a big hero. <laughs> 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 this guy, Jeffrey Henderson, he's stuck in his house right yes. now. Yes. C4. Yes. We're okay uh, for food and water as far as uh, riding. Wouldn't you move your ass out of that area? <laughs> <laughs> you were stuck in your house because the mud had you You're trapped. Yeah, We're going to rebuild and get uh, waterproof carpets. <laughs> um, but what we want to do is, uh, t uh, uh, my neighbor and I are the last two left in the canyon. We want to wait until the water goes down a little bit before we uh, go across the swift water. Good who's, idea. who's going down? <laughs> His wife and another kid were rescued, and he what, didn't what even know. What did the know. kid look like? He didn't even know what had happened. They got swept away, and he didn't know. He saw their rescue on TV, and that's the only way he found out that they were okay. All right. Thank you, Robin. Arnold Schwarzenegger, the governor, is going to survey the damage today. 
In a Terminator costume. <laughs> Boy, there's a lot of damage. <laughs> My thing is crazy. Back. Why do you live near the mud? <laughs> Why do you people idiots? <laughs> well, it's a sad event. It really is. It, it's terrible. It's just a few days from the uh, <laughs> scheduled Iraqi elections, and there's been lots of uh, insurgent attacks, and people are saying it is really unsafe. There's been very little campaigning, so <laughs> nobody knows what to vote for. Yes, let me tell you about my campaign. <laughs> Get Howard Stern off the air. <laughs> I promise never to raise taxes. Samir <laughs> <laughs> al-Samadi, who is the Iraqi ambassador to the U.N., he says an elected government would have the legitimacy necessary to begin to quell the insurgency. So he thinks the uh, elections should go on. See to security. At the moment, the the slogan, which is right, the head of Citadel Broadcasting, <laughs> is, is that uh, we are fighting. Um, okay. All right, who cares? We're replacing uh, Saddam Hussein with Tom Likas and Anthony. <laughs> but he does say that many parts of Iraq are safe for elections right now. See one. Security situation is not all over Iraq. There are many parts of Iraq. The majority of Iraq is secure enough for the elections to go ahead. So there, they may go ahead as scheduled. Thank you. <laughs> Randy Johnson joined the uh, New York Yankees yesterday officially. He held a press conference, but instead of being able to address what he'd do for the team... He first had to apologize for his activities or his actions of the day before. Here's Randy Johnson. Well, I guess uh, coming from a small market in, in Montreal where I first played, Arizona, Seattle, uh, I guess I'm just not used to photographers jumping out of the bushes and, mm -hmm. and all that. But uh, there's no doubt I was wrong. So he does apologize for his outburst of the day before. And I guess he will take the atmosphere in New York in stride as time goes by. He also says he would like to do as much for the team as possible and he feels that uh, the sport should rid itself of steroids. D2. You know, hopefully it will go away uh, in baseball and all sports. Uh, uh, we don't need anything. Uh, obviously there's enough negative things that go on uh, in our sport uh, that we don't need anything more to uh, perpetuate it. Here's Randy Johnson yelling at the news guy. Hey, hey, no. Hey. Right, no no cameras, man. No cameras. No cameras. Cameras. What is that? No cameras. Uh, my face is all I ask. Just look at a picture. Don't cameras. No cameras. Don't cameras. I got it, Randy. I got it. All right. Don't get in my face. I don't care who you are. Don't get in my face. Just I punched a reporter yesterday because he wouldn't talk to me. <laughs> <laughs> he wasn't, you attacked the press for ignoring He wasn't yes. taking my picture. Yes. I hit a photographer. <laughs> so he was taking pictures of a tree. I punched the guy in Central Park for trying to draw me. <laughs> <laughs> the, Anything else, Robin? Yes. E has come up with a novel idea. They're not allowing cameras in the Michael Jackson case. And they really want to cover that trial. So they're going to animate it? No, they're going to. <laughs> Can I do the voice? <laughs> they're going to act it out yes. every evening yes. from transcripts of the case. That's terrific. Yeah. That cost them thirty-seven cents to do it. I'm making them very happy. <laughs> So you can actually see the Jackson trial if you want to on E. Oh, can I play Macaulay Culkin? <laughs> <laughs> They're partnered with some... Oh, Macaulay, <laughs> I love your tight buttocks. <laughs> some English company to bring that to oh, you every evening. Oh, you have such soft, soft skin. <laughs> Gilbert's going to act as one of the little kids. I see. <laughs> Playing the part of Webster is good. <laughs> Mr. Blackwell came out with his first dress. They list. look like California raisins, only smaller. <laughs> <laughs> what else is in the news, Robin? <laughs> the worst dress list from Mr. Yeah. Blackwell. Yeah, well, who was on him? there beside Gilbert? Yeah. Uh, of course, number 10 was Anna Nicole Smith. Right. Number 9, Meryl Streep, one of our greatest actresses. Mm -hmm. Number 8, Paula Abdul. Paula, again, making lists. Number 7, Britney Spears. Number 6, Serena Williams. Yes. Number 5, Paris Hilton. Number 4, Courtney Love. Number three is a tie between Ashley and Jessica Simpson. He thinks Lindsay Lohan comes in at number two. Jessica Simpson's a hot dresser, and so is uh, uh, Lindsay Lohan, no? He doesn't like it. I like it. And number one. I like the way Paris Hilton dresses. He comes in at number two. 
<laughs> and number one? Yeah. Nicolette Sheridan of oh. Desperate Housewives. Oh. If I was a woman, I would dress in that sex <laughs> You know, he's right. Serena Williams should wear something that flatters her, like a Jets uniform. <laughs> <laughs> he has a point there, huh? A good idea. <laughs> As we said earlier, Crazy Cabby missed a uh, court date yesterday. And a yeah. warrant has been put out for his arrest. I missed a court date! We believe that he's in rehab, and hopefully they will understand that he cannot appear at the present time. I'm crazy! Dickies! <laughs> Big wow, dickies! Dickies! Guy misses one court date. Everyone gets all in tizzy. Right? <laughs> the president is trying once again to name a uh, yes. head of Homeland Security. This time picking somebody again from New Jersey. His name is Michael Chartoff. So uh, we'll see if he can uh, pass muster. His last nominee, Bernard Carrick, got into a lot of trouble once they started looking into his back. Did this guy ever write a book for Judith Regan to make love to her? <laughs> I don't think so. Good. I think right. he's book free. Very sexy woman. Dennis Quaid is uh, in a new movie called In Good Company. And here he talks about acting. A1. Every actor, I don't, you know, I don't care who you are, you know, you're always playing a version of yourself. No matter how deep in character you might be, otherwise it'd be cookie cutter. You'd get any actor to do the part. It's what they do. Uh, Why do you never talk about acting? <laughs> I'd like to hear you talk about acting. When you do the voice of the Affleck duck, <laughs> if the duck was in the room now, <laughs> I want to speak. To What's the it like duck. to do the voice of the Affleck duck? Do you have to prepare for that? Do you prepare? What's your biggest turn on? Do you have a Do you have a favorite uh, sound you make when you're the Affleck Duck? Yes, do you, what? And then in, in 1903. All right, go ahead. <laughs> He's gonna go Here's uh, Dennis, who says the great thing about acting is that as you get older, you can still find work. That's the great thing about this. You can do it till you die. You know, you uh, go on. Yeah, yeah, sure. When is that? Coming? <laughs> when the parts go on. I think I'm soon enough. Yeah. <laughs> when are we, we, we going to have the day when Robin can't say Dennis Quaid is in a new movie? <laughs> it's never going to happen. Yeah. Anything else, Robin? Assault on Precinct 13 will soon be in theaters near you. And Ja Rule is one of the actors. The rapper comments on rappers who think acting is easy. Before. Well, acting's well, we, not that easy. <laughs> this is very different from the music business. Yeah, you know, how so? If you're well, uh, you see, a lot of rappers as are not a lesbian, That's I why mean, we rap. a lesbian. <laughs> for a living because <laughs> we don't have to be disciplined see know? we don't have to be disciplined we don't have to I'd like to see you say that to Ja Rule's face yeah <laughs> we'll be so brave man. guess hello what there. Ja. standing right outside bring him in ja yeah. Rule. Yeah. Yeah. hello Yo, say, hey give say am I in the room <laughs> I'll just hurt myself hello, Robin it's the close of another show. How could I be oh outside and in the room at the same time? Oh, look at Tom with a cake for Gilbert. Oh. Wow. Oh, am I glad I came in today? Gilbert, free cake. <laughs> look at Lucky this. you. Lucky, Lucky me. This. It's my birthday. Happy birthday, birthday to, to Howard. <laughs> Happy birthday to me, Howard. Happy birthday to me, Howard. Happy birthday to me. Do you have a speech, Tom? Tom, would you like to make a speech to me? King of all media. Gold bond ultimate. Wait, wait, wait. I'm missing the speech, yes? In honor of you, because it's your birthday, in honor of Fred. It's a fudgy the whale. Happy birthday, Fred. Well, let me make a wish. That's a good three dollar cake. Yeah. I spare no expense, Artie. Thank you. Happy birthday. Thank you, Tom. Uh, that is very sweet of you, and to the entire sales team and K Rock staff, to uh, all of my friends out there. Thank you for a beautiful birthday cake, uh, Fudgy the Whale. And I will cherish it and enjoy it. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. And to everyone who works here, I love you. I love you. I love you. I love you. And now, Baba Booey, to say something. real, okay? It's so weird because this is your last birthday at K Rock. You don't know him. You never know. You never know. You're going to perfectly do You know what? To round it all out, Crazy Alice made a new birthday message. It's in those cards I gave you. What does she have to say? Let me see what Crazy. Let's lick. Crazy Alice have the End last the word. Final word. <laughs> Although Gilbert does want a final plug before Crazy Alice. <laughs>
Yeah. See Gilbert Gottfried tomorrow night at Caroline's in Manhattan. Tickets 212-757-4100. If you want to see Aladdin, go ahead. He's yeah. Go ahead. Yeah. Uh, Gilbert, thank you, yeah. of course. As always, a stellar performance. I want to thank those uh, beautiful girls earlier from Penthouse Magazine. Go check them out. The Penthouse Pet of the Year and the runner-up. James Wood thanks you. Uh, he's got the HollywoodPoker.com. I want to thank him for calling in. Uh, thanks you. And let's see who else we want to thank. Ah, uh, thanks you. And Martina Wait. Warren and Nat Natalia Cruz. Thank you. Right. And Rebecca Roman Stamos. And George Takei. And George Takei. <laughs> Um, Not the guy. Yeah. All right. Thank you. And who is this? Now? Crazy, crazy Alice. Alice. All right. Crazy Wishing Alice. Wishing you a happy birthday. And we'll see you tomorrow. Oh, yeah. This is Alice Rose. Guy that I was talking to Sal on the uh, telephone this morning. I guess trying to get me to sound like Oprah Winfrey, but I don't care too much about that big cow. Real truth. I, mean, just, I want to say happy birthday to Howard Stern. I don't want to pretend something that I'm not. I just went along with the clown. But happy birthday, Howard, and uh, I'm going to send you a, a card and an update picture of me in the year 2005. Don't get scared when you see the picture. Not as pretty as I used to be, but I'll let you see it anyway. So look for your 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 birthday card or even a Valentine card. You think for the announcement she could have turned off the TV in the back? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah, Friendship Valentine card. All right, honey. Thank you. Uh, listen, it we'll sounds like she likes you now. Yeah, uh, yeah. Uh, for now. Happy birthday for me in CSI Miami. Tonight <laughs> on E, the Tough Enough contest with High Pitch Eric. See a hot chick, uh, whether or not she can be shackled to High Pitch Eric for four days straight. I guarantee she will last more than two hours. But we'll see you tomorrow. Thanks, and uh, that's it. Chào các mọi người và hôm nay bên em lại về một chiếc Kia Cerato xe sản xuất 2018 bản 1.6 số tự động và xe này thì xe một phiên bản màu trắng. Cerato là một trong những dòng mà của phân khúc hạng C xe của Kia và Cerato là một trong những dòng mà hướng hạng C mà nếu mà cùng phân khúc thì nó thủ dạng rẻ nhất rồi. Con này thì nói chung là rất là đẹp và giá cả phải chăng? mỗi là con này vẫn còn một cái điểm yếu đó là
Thank you.